Hello. Just as a creative variation. Variation is creation. Okay. Variation of uh, raw material by applying variations of some energy field, fire. That is, natural, by nature process it gets melted. Okay. One variation. Okay. Second, you create a shape. Materials again. Okay. Shaved by the material of the hand, by the material of the brain process of thinking and understanding and intuition. And into that mold, you put that molten material. It assumes that shape. By nature process. Let us say so called gravitational forces, which are nature process forces. Not discovered by a, a Newton and existing separate from nature process, as if a lot of scientists seem to believe and take it for granted. They forget that it was a discovery, discovered some existing thing. I have differentiated, I am the only one in the world of researchers in creativity who differentiated creativity, discovery, invention, innovation, modification, etc. Creativity and originality and genius, corresponding mental states or mindsets or mind setting. So right now the topic is supply variation. I have found out the invariant aspect of all creations, all originations, all inventions. It is by variations, applying variations, first having variation in thought process itself. Variation in the way of looking at things from different vantage points, different angles like an efficient film director who is looking for the finest possible variation of a given sort. That's a film. So uh, right now, <laughs> this morning, you know, see, so rubber band by females. So I am trying to assume the, the body movements and the feelings of a female. Why not? For so many years uh, my expressions were controlled by my body process and I have been trained to be a so-called male, a man. Of course, yes. Raw material is that of a man. Then you can have the variations of uh, doings and uh, state of beings. And every knowing is a variation, okay? Variation in your memory, in your data bank. So, a man should try at least once in their lifetime to behave like, to have hand movements, to express him movements like that of a female. Why not? Just a variation. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Unfortunately, there are certain stupid norms, you know. A man should be a man, a female is something like that. A man is not ready to act like a female. That is the evidence that the man still underestimates females. A man is embarrassed to assume the mode of expressions and details of a female. Coupled with their obsession, their, their stupid, dynamic, complicated obsession about sexuality, their own sexuality. They have only one major angle to look at a female, only as a sex object, actually speaking. They see finally the female as something that he can... Uh, um, apply his sexuality. He applies in his sexuality. Not even realizing that she is also experiencing that uh, sexuality. Okay? In one of my other videos, in connection with one of the beautiful temple rituals in Kerala state, Chakkan, uh, Kottan Kulangaraj temple, where males, adult males and uh, little males, just in complete details, it is called chamaya vilak. In chamaya, I mean beautiful, not just wearing the costume of a female. They get decorated like a goddess in the deity, in the pictures. 
and uh, do it in the most appropriate time and uh, mind setting. I am sure every one of them will have some variations in their thought process, in their approach to life, in their approach to women, in their approach to many things. No doubt about that. But that variations may range. They themselves are only with people who are aware what they are doing. After 50% of them could be just duplicating something, thinking something. At least 13% by normal distribution principle, at least 13% of them are very likely to be very genuine and dedicated and truthfully, elegantly into that mode of the female, what is intended by that position. That's a ritual for a man to, to, to assume the being of the feminine, the young or in whatever, all right? And if every doing has to do its completeness, uh, the one who is doing it should have the uh, natural property which I explained in some other video, completeness. Every nature process things I repeat, have those five parameters, firmness or integrity, or let us say firmness, correctness, elegance, completeness and tau. Tau meaning in tuning. Firmness meaning integrity. Okay? Elegance, that is the one that they are all, they are all, uh, like I said, uh, this uh, people you know, who go for this Chamayavalak, they are all clear about the elegance dimension of the feminine, that's why they are decorated, they wear the finest costume of a female. But are they elegantly inserted in true dedication, ethical, ethically justified in what they do? Ethically meaning being right and correct and good. Unethical meaning wrong and incorrect and bad or evil. So I just mentioned, so at least one day, in one of my videos I have said, at least one day every man should wear the complete costume of a female and try all their best of creative analytic observation of the female movements and expressions and responses and behaviors and ways of doing and ways of relating and ways of language. I have to try it one day. I guarantee that they will have a unique moment of truth. All creations and variations are uh, you know, getting out of the box of the available. Applying variation, there is petrol and diesel and uh, silicon chips. So apply variations on your thought process about the very you as a male. Look at the females, they are all wearing the male costume, male dress mostly. They, are, they, are, they have the confidence to uh, be in tune with the maleness. Okay, good. Including in their dressing. Dress designs and defines the man. And that's why males are uh, feeling embarrassed to wear a sari. And ideally a sari. Uh, when I talk this, I am not talking about the stupid mechanical western dressing. I am talking about the wonderful mystical invention called a sari which defines the most elegant, okay, most elegant, elegance, the fourth, the fourth dimension of this planet Earth, with every entity, everything, every phenomenon, every blade of grass, every, ba every bird. In that scale of elegance, Sari is the most. When they wear it, they will know that. Okay, some of the historic, uh, uh, Ancient uh, princess dress, look at the dress of the princess, wherever, even in the West. There a lot of details, a lot of chamayam, and Indian princesses, equally. So, at least one day in life, apply that variation on your body and look at the mirror and look at it, the reflection of something else, some other entity looking at you. Try that. You can even have a moment of satori. Guaranteed. 